Hello, thanks again for watching. Um, we're uh, today I'm getting all the valves back in the head of this Mercruiser 470 engine. Okay, it's just a case of uh, slide the valve down in the valve guide, make sure it's nice and free. Okay, then put the seal on, get the spring, put the spring in place, and get the retaining plate. A retaining plate over the end of the valve then I've got a spring compressor clamp and what that does is that squeezes the spring and the retaining plant clamp the retaining plate down spring retaining plate down so that I can get the collets and sit the collets in the top of the valve stem there's a machine there's a groove machined in the top of the valve stem that these collets sit in and when you get both of those into where they're supposed to be sometimes they can be a bit fiddly the springs probably not pulled down exactly square let it go and then just give it a tap with a hammer make sure it's all home properly and that's basically it for fitting a valve so it's a case of rinse and repeat do this eight times eight valves in the head two valves per cylinder and um, valve in, seal on, spring on, retaining plate on, clamp it down. Once you've clamped it down, you can see there, that's where the collets go in that little groove machined in the top of the valve stem. And the collets are actually tapered as well. They only go in one direction. I'll just show you what it is. There's a machine groove in the valve there. So you put your valve through the head, put your spring over your valve stem, put your retaining plate over the valve stem. I'm just gonna use a little bit of grease to hold the collets in place now. And then there's two collets which sit in that machined groove in the end of the valve stem. So one fits in one side, then you get, get the other collet that sits in the other side like I say these are tapered and the inside of the retaining plate is tapered so the retaining plate slides up holds those collets in place and that's it and it's there and the spring tension is what holds that all together so it's just a case of give it a tap make sure everything's there and there they are in place and that's number one cylinder inlet valve and exhaust valve okay like I say the uh, inlet valve if you look is the bigger valve out the two okay that's a bigger valve because when that opens you need to get as much air as possible down into the combustion chamber so the bigger valve allows a bigger volume of air in the bigger the volume of air that's in there when it's got the fuel with it gives the bigger bang the bigger the bang the more power you get like i said before this is just an old school engine there's no sort of electronic ignition no emission controls or anything like that. it's just to pour petrol in and get your power out the back like i say this is rinse and repeat again this is there's a valve bit of graphogen on the stem slide it in make sure it's free Get your spring, put your spr uh, seal, put your seal on, put your spring on, and your retaining plate, clamp it down, put your two collets in, let it go, tap with the hammer so it's all home. So while I'm doing this, we'll just have a, this is something just to get your head around, okay? Now, if you're running your engine at 2,500 RPM, okay, that means the crankshaft is rotating at 2,500 RPM. The camshaft is running at half engine speed. So the camshaft will be rotating at 1,250 RPM. So that means each one of these valves will open and close 
1,250 times a minute, okay? Which, if you divide it down, means each one of these valves will be opening and closing just over 20 times a second, okay? So that means, like, these valves in their valve guides and everything sliding up and down they're pretty busy in there they're doing their job they're pretty busy okay so that's why you want everything to be nice and free it's it's it's, it's got to be working smoothly because any pickup when something's running at that speed any pickup soon develops loads of heat and it seizes up and then you've got a problem and you've got a problem quickly okay so like i say just it's one of those things you need everything running nice and free nice and smooth okay now valve guides can wear so you end up with um you mis your engine burning a bit of oil and stuff where oil gets down from out of the rocker box casing past the valve stem into your engine so that's like I say, all these valves in here, I have checked them all before I'm banging them in. And uh, they, they're all nice. There's not much wear in the valve guides or anything. I don't think the engine's done a lot. Like I said earlier on, it, it only seized up because it was stood. So it's just a case of cleaning everything up. Now these valves, before I put them in, I did grind all the seats in, which is just getting a lapping tool and just lapping the valves, making sure all the seats are nice and clean and free. But there you go. So we just give all, there's all the valves in there now. There's the collets in place on the top of every valve. And that's it. Now this head is going to be ready to go back on. I'd like to thank you for watching. Um, click the thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget, subscribe if you want more. Leave a comment if you want. Always glad to hear from you. Thank you very much.